Oh yeah! We're back here at the Haunter Center and you just entered Orange Country. Tonight, the Ducks are going to take on the Utah Hockey Club. Who do you think is going to take it tonight, my man? I'm Ducks. I'm joined here with Brody and he's joining me for his very first game of the preseason. You ready for tonight? Yes. Let's go. Let's go, Ducks. Let's go, Ducks. Thank you so much. Take it in. Thank you. Here we are, bud. Here we are. How's it feel to be back? It's Woo! Now the first thing on our agenda today is we're gonna head over here to the store because I want to get an item right now. Check this spirit jersey out, dude. They have a duck spirit jersey that says Happy Halloween. What did he say? Oh, oh, that is pretty sick. We were here Monday. The first shirt that I would like to collect of the season is this orange duck shirt right here. And this duck shirt is going to run you $39.99. I mean, that, that's not bad. We have our very first items of this season, dude. Look at this shirt, bro. I'm loving the new look. And Brody got a new platter. Now, Brody and the rest of the family will be joining me later on for more hockey games. And that's when I'm going to be buying them their gear. Gee, dude, this is beautiful. Now it's time to get some food. Now I'm not gonna try anything new today. We did try the two sticks the other day. The food was whatever, but there's one food item that I'm really looking forward to eating here again. Now the total for the shirt and uh, Brody's duck quacker was a total of about $53. Shirt was $39.99, which isn't bad. Uh, I was gonna snag a hat, but that was $39.99 also. Beginning of the season, I could snag a hat later on. I mean, I got this duck hat, and then Brody has his duck's hat. So, I mean, we're set for right now. As we're passing by section 213, I noticed wild wings. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember wild wings being here last year. I know they had a wing spot, but I don't know if it was called wild wings. One thing I'm really stoked for about the New Jersey is my favorite color is orange. Let's go dog! We're passing section 218 and here's a slap shot grill where you can get some burgers and some chicken sandwiches and chicken tenders. Now if you remember last video I was talking about Outlaw Smokehouse that used to be on the floor level. At section 220 you can find Outlaw Smokehouse so you can grab your barbecue brisket, pulled pork sandwiches, and a chicken tenders, but they also have a smoked kielbasa. They also have a pulled pork nachos that they have there. I definitely want to try that, but I still have my fingers crossed, bro, that they still have the Bidia tacos, because that was some of the best food that I had here last season at the Honda Center. Yes, we found it. Southern California, which is in section 227, and there it is. Now, you have the option of the three country ta crunchy tacos, which you cannot get the video. You have to get the video on the three soft tacos, but look right below it, bro. They got loaded nachos for $22, and they got video. So instead of getting the three tacos, let's go with the loaded nachos. Now, I'm gonna remind you guys, like I said last video, the Honda Center is cashless. And as you can see right behind me right here, you actually go up to the stands and you pay at the kiosk. So you don't really have to uh, talk to a vendor or a person that works there. So the total for the nachos was $23.71. We snagged our nachos and these nachos are stacked. But now it's time to make our way up to the fourth level. Brody, you hear that music? You know what time it is, baby. Let's go, Ducks! Let's go, Ducks, baby! You're looking somewhere to eat and a standing point in section 434 and 433. You'll see this asylum brewery and you throw your stuff down on here. Now, let's open up these nachos and check it out, dude. So, you have your nachos, followers, nacho cheese, pico de gallo, birria. I think this is sour cream. Sour cream. You have jalapenos and guac on the side. So let's go ahead and try these video tacos. Let's dig in, my man. Get some nachos, sour cream, the video. Cheers. Now the video nachos here are on point. 
Now it is on the price side, it was $23.71, but the price point and portion size is way better than Monday on the uh, twin sticks. The video is really, really good, dude. I'm talking about it. It's tender. You get this nice smoky flavor to it. A lot of flavor, but you don't really get a lot of the heat from the pico de gallo or of the jalapenos because how much sour cream is on here. I like this, dude. This is really, really good. I like the nachos. I will give it 10 out of 10. Now, I forgot to say the nacho cheese is pretty spicy if you don't get any of the sour cream on this. If you're on a budget, once again, I'm going to say some of the foods here at the Honda Center are on the pricey side. But if money is not a factor, bro, definitely try the Vidya nachos. Right now, this is my favorite thing of the season. Well, the preseason because season hasn't started. I'm going to go ahead and give the Vidya nachos an easy 9 out of 10. Now, it's time to get inside and watch some hockey. Now, one thing that I did notice this season compared to last season is the tickets are a lot more expensive this season. Like the cheapest tickets that we saw is like $20, but most tickets for the regular season, bro, you're looking like $35 and up. October 20th, we play the Kings again during a regular season, and those tickets are 60 bucks. Well, we did start watching hockey at the end of the season of last year, and we were getting tickets for like $17 and $18. But tonight I was lucky. I used TickPick again and I found the holy grail of tickets. $10, dude. $10 tickets. So tonight's game was a total of $20. So I would say go ahead and check out other parties. Look at StubHub. Look at TickPick. Uh, look at Ticketmaster. Shop around before you make your final purchase because some of the sites will have cheaper tickets than others. Uh, it's great to be back here at the Honda Center. We got a good view tonight, but we're all the way up. So let's head all the way. We're in section 406. Seats are Spro U, seats one and two. So we're all the way up top. And here we are, U, seats one and two. This will be our view of the night. What do you think? Good. Good? I kind of like sitting up here because we're all the way at the top and there's nobody really behind us. Oh. Hopefully the Ducks can win tonight, dude. We saw that our key players are here. The rookies from Monday are resting. So we got Gudis out there. Who else do we got, Brody? Um, Zellweger. Now one thing I forgot about hockey, bro, is how comfortable the seats are. Now in baseball, you know, the seats are kind of rough depending on where you sit, but it doesn't matter if you sit at the top section, if you sit in the 300 sections right here, or down below near the rink. Everybody here is the winner because we all get cushion seats. It's time, Brody. Yeah. It's time. Are you ready for hockey season? Yeah. Now that you're back here at the Honda Center, are you more of a hockey fan or a baseball fan? Baseball.
<laughs> Let's go, dog! Look who it is, it's wild me. Let's go, dog! Let's go, dog! Let's go, dog! But currently my phone is at 20%. So for the second and third period, I'm gonna kick it with Brody and we're gonna watch the game. We're not gonna film any more of the hockey game, but if the Ducks make a goal or, you know, Utah, who's Utah? Who, who is that? I don't, who, you guys know who that is? I don't, I don't know who that is. But, you know, the, the people that they're playing today, Utah Hockey Club, if they make a goal, I'll show you that too. So we will catch you guys at the end of the game. Yeah! Second period! 17 minutes, 10 seconds! They made a goal, baby! Let's go, go! So it's the end of the second period, we're in the intermission, and Brody wanted some ice cream. The last stop of the night is going to be here at the sweet spot, and we're going to be checking out the Dole Pineapple Saucer. We snagged our Dole Whip, and the Dole Whip total was $9.70. But let's see how this compares to a Disneyland Dole Whip. Is it the same? Ooh. And you know what I like? I like how far they went above the, uh, the cup. So instead of being level with the cup, they went above the cup. Is that good? It tastes like a real pineapple. It's better than Disneyland. Um, it's tarty and I give it 10 out of 10. I 100% agree with Brody on the Dole Pineapple Soft Serve, dude. That's really good. I think it is better than Disney. And I give it a, a 10 out of 10 too, man. I, I'd get this again. And you know what else I would get again? I would get those nachos again, dude. So two favorite things so far of this season is the video nachos and the Dole Whip. Yeah, baby! At the beginning of the third period, period 15 minutes to go Utah just scored it's 4-2 now yeah let's go dog we just scored again baby 5-2 let's go dog
folks, this was a great preseason game, way better than Monday. Ducks were looking good, especially when we have our A squad out there. What you just watched was a little bit extra. It didn't matter who won the game. They were going to do this anyway, which was really cool. Brody, did you have fun tonight? Yeah. You ready for hockey season? Yes. Let's go. But thank you for everybody for joining us tonight. We will catch you next video. Have a good one. Deuces.